quite a number of issues happening in the polity. The Federal High Court in uh, Wari, Delta State, Nigeria, has validated the primary election that produced uh, Sheriff uh, Oborori as the governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party ahead of Nigeria's 2023 governorship election. And uh, while it's not strange to see electoral alliances come up in an election season and ahead of the 2023 elections, these parts are beginning to come up. River State Governor Yesum Wike may have lost in the PDP presidential primaries and snubbed for the vice presidential slot of the major opposition. He is still the wanted bride in Nigerian politics today. Candidate of the APC, Bola Tinubu, has met Wike uh, in Europe, while the candidate of the PDP, Atiku Abubakar, also met with him also in Europe. In the NNPP, where Rabiu Musa Konkoso hopes to floor the giants, is vying against, although one of his biggest and strongest members, Ibrahim Shakarao, has resigned from his membership of the party. Now, there are meetings every hour, new announcements every day, and the cities of Europe are becoming a part of Nigerian alliance centers. Now, from Paris to London, meetings are being held, and they'll determine a lot on the ballot. Welcome to VSA as we discuss electoral pacts and the impacts of the meetings on the square. I'm Suleiman. The governors of the Nigerian opposition, the People's Democratic Party, PDP met in the United Kingdom as discussions continue ahead of the 2023 election. Now, the governors also met Nigeria's former president, Ulushago Basanjo, as consultations over the 2023 elections continue. Yesom Wike, the River State Governor, has become one of the most important politicians in the country today, as every leading candidate is looking to form a pact with him. Wike, whose state has one of Nigeria's highest number of registered voters, has been cryptic about his presidential leanings since he was snubbed for the vice presidential candidacy of the PDP. In the new Nigeria People's Party, the NNPP, the candidate of the party, Ravi Musa Konkonso, is open to new pacts and alliances ahead of the coming elections. Now, with the movement considered one of the most passionate in Nigeria, parties are looking to collapse structures ahead of the general elections next year. Peter Obi of the Labour Party has also grown a massive army of followers amongst the youth and is seen as the ladder to the desired future. Are these alliances the way forward for the parties and their candidates? How important do they mean to the polity? That's our conversation on the square. Chiman Naji, legal practitioner and public affairs analyst, Ken Okolugo, join me now on the square. Gentlemen, Thanks to, uh, to you both for coming on the square. Uh, let's start with you, uh, Dr. Naji. Good to see you. And uh, just before we started, uh, let me let Ken have a conversation. Ken wants to say <laughs> welcome to you properly on the square. Hello, Dr. Chima. I haven't seen you in over 10 years on the program. I mean, meet, meet on the program. I'm sure the last time I had a program with uh, <laughs> Chima was on. Oh, it should be over 10 years now. <laughs> I, I miss I miss the great time we always have on programs. Uh, 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 and, and the African proverbs and parables. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> now, now you you have squarely at the village square. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so good, like good. I told uh, Suleiman the other time, mm. you don't have to stay too long at the village square. Otherwise, <laughs> you start seeing ghosts. <laughs> you, you, you see what I'm talking about? <laughs> and that is why and that is why we don't stay more than an hour on the square. Yes, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, Chima and Nigel, always a delight having you nice and Ken. Nice to see you guys. Nice to see you. Yeah, yeah we do yeah, hope some that you make it live as Ken to the studios. And now, let's start with you, uh, Dr. Naji. You know, Wike, uh, love him or hate him, is the man of the moment in Nigerian politics. Now, some have called him the beautiful bride. And uh, help us make sense of this. Why do you think politicians always do this? Well, um, Suleiman, uh, nice to be here uh, once again. Um, you see, just like we joked that uh, if one stays too long at the village square, one starts seeing um, ghosts. 
uh, when you have the opportunity uh, thrust on you, uh, especially in a political situation like this, uh, in the case of uh, Wiki, you shouldn't drag it for too long. Uh, because uh, uh, if, you, if water begins to show too much of its importance, people will begin to look for its substitute. Uh, because uh, if, you, if you cannot hold a dog because of its tail, you can look for monkey. All of them have tails. So I think uh, while, while it is good that Wike should make a political uh, mileage of his uh, situation now, uh, he shouldn't drag it for too long. Otherwise, uh, he will begin to lose steam. Uh, I think uh, it is also good uh, for the polity because uh, if, um, if a snake does not do what makes it a snake, bite, the old woman will take it uh, and tie firewood, thinking it's an ordinary rope. We saw what happened at the primaries of uh, PDP, uh, how Wike, well, felt shortchanged. But that is politics. But more importantly is the fact that the way the principal of uh, uh, PDP, uh, the presidential candidate, uh, was able to maneuver his way to corner the ticket with all the arguments now that uh, is uh, because uh, the party has been long on opposition and wants to win and all as if to say that without that tiku, no one else could win the presidency for PDP. So if Wike is going to use this to maybe communicate uh, that uh, things don't have to go that way all the time, uh, it will send a signal to some other people in future at least that there is no, uh, there's not always uh, room for impunity. Okay, we'll, we'll come back to you. Let me come to Ken. Ken, you know, the, 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 you were once a member of the PDP. Uh, now you're, you're, you're uh, out of politics for now. Uh, help us make sense of this, because uh, one would have thought that uh, if the uh, reverse block is that powerful, uh, they, they, that's the APC, have in its fold another former governor, Rotimi Amechi. Why not look towards Rotimi Amechi to get the gains and the goods from Rivers? Why yes and we can. Ken? I'm only out of PDP. I'm not out of politics. <laughs> <laughs> but the important thing about it is that uh, I, I listened very well to what uh, Chima said. It was as if he was listening to my program yesterday. I had a program yesterday. And I clearly also said that uh, Nason Wiki has become the beautiful pride, but uh, he's uh, having this feeling of entitlement, which he must at this point try to drop. You know, if you push something too far, exactly the same view I have, you'll be, you'll be losing steam. It's only natural. Yes, you must also say uh, Wiki at the time held the party. You can't take that away from him. He was not sure in the party, especially at the time that you see the likes of Atiku Dogara, Tambuwao, Saraki, Wakwansu, all left the party. And you know, at that material point in time, it was important to keep PDP, because if there was no PDP, there would be no party now for Atiku. But the primaries have held, and the winner has emerged. You, no matter how you, you are hot, you can't turn back the hands of time. The only thing you could do is to challenge in 14 days from when the primary is held to question whatever uh, areas of the primary you're not satisfied with. And Wiki didn't do that. I think Wiki actually rose above board when he said, look, I, I could have easily, you know, tried to make trouble when Tambua came and wanted to change the goalpost in the middle of the match. I didn't do that. He condemned the southern governors who didn't stand by him after they had resolved that there should be a southern president. And, you know, after all said and done, you know, at this point in time, if you have the interest of your party at heart, you might, you might have to try to swallow some bitter pills. It's very, very, they're very difficult pills to swallow, but uh, a situation where you know you have your gubernatorial candidate that is PDP, your senatorial candidates that are PDP, your House of Rep candidates that are PDP, you might, you might hurt them if, you, if, you, if you're not careful. 
So those those larger pictures are what you should look at. Of course, Wiki does not only have his sphere of influence in rivers. He's come to, and I must also give it to him. I don't. I can't remember as a governor, apart from maybe Tinubu, uh, wielded this much influence among his fellow colleagues. You know, and we must also face that fact. In the primaries, they saw a lot of his of the colleagues standing by him, and they stood by him openly. The two Southeast governors of the PDP extraction, the only ones they have. Ugumai Yannick Piazza stood by him. The only Southwest governor of PDP extraction, Makinde, stood by him. And the only North Central governor of PDP extraction, Autumn, stood by him. That's quite a huge support, looking at uh, uh, the fact that Wike is, was attempting for the first time. But you see, in all that, in all said and done, the party would have to move forward. Well, in moving yeah. forward, how, how soon, uh, yeah. before we come to Chima, uh, mm. how soon, uh, you know, uh, should he let go? Knowing full well at mm. that point in time when President Jonathan lost the election, yes, and even in 2019 when mm. Atiku Abubakar also lost, mm. uh, it was the same yes and Wike who held fought. Uh, you know, more like bringing every member of the party together. So, yes. so he saw pain and mm. rightly so by some analysts. Of course, how soon is soon? Because yourself and Chima mm. is saying that he should let go. No, not let go without any conditions. The conditions will be such that will be favorable to him, but then they shouldn't also be impossible conditions. Because if you look at it at the end it of the day... It should be an impossible condition. Yes, if you look at it at the end of the day, you know, you're going to have a party that you want to get into power. You want the opposition to take over. PDP happens to be the main opposition. Labour is coming strong because of Peter B. So if you don't at this point in time decide that it is time for us to agree on certain... I, I actually think that if the party is able to agree on changing the national chairman, for example, because the chairman and the candidate cannot come from the same zone, and the wiki camp is actually allowed to bring the national chairman, that has been a, a, a huge plus for them. And if they are also able to have a gentlemanly agreement that if they win the elections in 2023, you'll be able to... They'll, they'll seat some slots. At least it's, it's what, it will be gentlemanly, because by the time... A, a, a commander in chief comes in, even if he changes those agreements, you can only cry. You, there's nothing you can do about it. Then you should be able at, at this point to say, look, let's allow the campaign council to, to go ahead with the elections. You Don't forget what, that September it, 28th is when the campaigns are supposed to officially. And in other words, that's, less some, than a month. that's some kind of that's some risk. So if you say, uh, well, some gentleman agreement. It, it's quite it's quite a huge risk. It's quite a huge risk. Mm -hmm. uh, and Chima, you know, we've seen we've seen uh, politicians. Uh, uh, tell younger Nigerians that uh, promises are meant to be broken. Uh, and as we've seen in the PDP, the governors met, uh, uh, you know, the presidential candidate Atiku in London. Uh, how important are these meetings, uh, especially uh, as they're being held outside the continent, Europe? Well, you know that uh, there's ordinarily that wars have ears. So if um, it was uh, perhaps a condition set by Wike that uh, he's uh, usually too busy in Nigeria or maybe in Port Harcourt, uh, and there are so much uh, people nosing around that he would probably prefer to have uh, uh, a, 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 a location that even if the walls he heard before they could be divulged, some of the implementations would have taken place. Uh, it's only him and perhaps those who are attending or who attended the meeting that will be able to really state exactly what happened. We can only speculate, either based on reason or uh, maybe uh, deductive logic uh, from what has happened. However, uh, I believe um, ultimately such meetings there will be no nosy journalists around uh, trying to either make uh, speculations that might even mar the progress of the meeting. So it, uh, the, the secrecy probably uh, would have been maintained by that uh, such a distant uh, location. Uh, that's what I think. Uh, I may be wrong. Let, let, let's stay with you for a bit and uh, look at, uh, now you're talking about deductive analysis now. Let's bring that into what's at play, especially with, uh, within River State. Uh, one would mm. have thought that uh, for politicians uh, to reach out to uh, you know, members of an opposition party, especially aggrieved members, uh, they're doing that when they don't have uh, 
uh, bigger members uh, to have them court the same uh, gains on election days. Uh, take, for instance, River State. Uh, the former transport minister, former governor of the state, is still a member of the APC. And some members of uh, his uh, caucus are saying uh, it's an affront and a slap on the face of Rotimi Amechi uh, for uh, some members of the PD, uh, APC to make that inroad into the camps of Yesom Weekend. Knowing full well that these two gentlemen from southern Nigeria don't see eye to eye. At least politically. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because uh, you know politicians have a way of uh, presenting a facade, but uh, they, they jointly own investments, they intermarry, they do so many social <laughs> activities together, and uh, you are never there to <laughs> chronicle all of them. Well, let me, let me be very straightforward in the way I think on this matter. Since Amechi's uh, primaries with uh, Tinubu, it appears uh, he, he became somehow withdrawn from the political arena. Perhaps he's trying to re-strategize or perhaps um, maybe yeah, 100, million, 100 million Naira is not uh, 100 million uh, Kobo. So when you do not uh, achieve what you had in mind, putting that kind of money down, you probably need to do small nursing, uh, at least psychologically, to be able to get over it. And again, perhaps because uh, the because of the incumbency of um, Governor Wike over River State, and uh, the uh, well, a lot of activities are being reported as uh, building roads and uh, so on and so forth. That it appears that he might be in a position to conjure votes through people that may have found uh, his uh, governance style uh, useful to them, at least at the material level. Uh, maybe with that, that he will be able to garner more votes than Amechi in the circumstance, because it appears that Amechi also himself have been riding uh, through a very rough road uh, with uh, even Sneto Abbey and all those uh, uh, people uh, splitting off his uh, uh, camp. So uh, again, it appears therefore to opposition or any other group for that matter, that with that uh, situation with Amechi and uh, Wike, that uh, Wike will want to jump into ATC perhaps in order to spite Amechi. But that will be too simplistic a thinking process because a lot of things uh, will have to be configured by wiki so that it does not look as if one is jumping from frying pan to fire because he has to look back and see all those people who jumped into apc uh, how they look these days what has been the the power quotient they they enjoyed after they had joined uh, in fact it looked so much like a man who uh, keep marrying so many wives the latest can last for six months before she expires uh, in terms of uh, romantic uh, uh, values before the, the, the next one is uh, being pursued. So if, uh, if you look at it from that angle, uh, even uh, from biblical point of view, where 99 is uh, greater than, where one is greater than 99, they say somebody has 99 sh uh, sheep or 100 sheep, one got lo lost, you have to leave the 99 one uh, behind to look for that uh, lost one. So mathematically, that shouldn't have justified that kind of uh, 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 adventure because another one could have uh, got missing out of jealousy so that uh, it could also add to the problem. So I believe what is happening now is that uh, uh, the hype around Wike is very high and he should strike the iron now that it is very, very, very hot. But he should be very careful not to jump from Trampan to fire. So, so uh, let me bring in Ken here <coughs> so that he can make uh, this more lucid. Because Ken, listen to you, Chief Energy. He, he said something without mentioning names, but that those who went to the APC, some of them came out, you know, uh, running, uh, you know, uh, more or less, as they say, on the continent with their tails between their legs. Uh, for instance, uh, the candidate of the APC, uh, Atiku Abubakar, once was in the APC. 
And even the candidate of the NNPP, uh, Konkonsu, was again once upon a time in the, the APC. Uh, APC. So, mm. uh, Ken, do you think, if you were to give uh, uh, political advice pro bono to the River State Governor, do you think uh, you would advise him to make that move into the APC? Uh, I don't think I would, I would even offer that advice. First and foremost, I, I believe, like uh, you said, because you had already mentioned the Amici thing in your, in your earlier question, and you just have the time to deal with it. So if I quickly... No, go ahead. What I quickly think is, uh, I think this Amici is back to school, but I actually think it's quite, it's quite disrespectful. Did, 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 you read, did, did, did you read that book? We'll, co we'll come they back. Say, they say he's in we'll school. He's he's in law. Did you read the book, As It Goes to School? Yes, yes, I did. <laughs> So everyone has gone back to school. Gone back to school. But they say he's in school for now, sincerely, he, at Bates University. Someone mentioned it. I, I was a bit curious, and I, they said he's reading law. And so he's back to school. But I think it was, it's actually also disrespectful. If, as the leader of the APC in Rivers, and someone who came second, like Wiki did, in the primaries of the APC, that you, if you open up discussions with Wiki, you're also undermining him. But I was looking at the fact that there are two things I... I, I, I got from what Chima was saying. Wiki had 1,487,000 votes in 2015, and Amici was said to have 6,900 votes. And there was a hue and cry that he was a sitting governor. I'm talking about the presidential election, and Amici could not have had such figures. And in 2019, Wiki got 473,000 votes for the PDP. That's presidential. And Amici got 150,000 votes for the APC. So there was not a huge mark of difference. So what it tells you is that uh, there's a mark of improvement from where Amici was seen even as a sitting governor in 2015 and now in 2019 in terms of the acceptance of APC. Now, APC is, is, is at this point in time, we have had a lot of people who have left the APC, like Kwakwansu, like article, which is one of the things they try to use against them, that they have jumped ship when it mattered, and they only come to use platforms because they want to have political power. But be as it is, we must also uh, face facts that the scorecard of the APC, it's very low. Nigeria was clearly told by the IMF and the World Bank that they are going through an existential problem. Uh, and they've never described Nigeria in that light. We know very well that uh, foreign reserves are less than $400,000, which is about $375 million, sorry, million dollars, about $375 million. It's never been that low. We also know the fact that we are producing 1,030,000 barrels of crude as against 1.8 million. That is our OPEC quota. And so at this material point in time, Nigeria economically is going through one of its worst crises. Dollar is 705 at the parallel market, which is what basically most people can get the dollar from, not even from the uh, official, market. official market that is 421. <laughs> so everything has skyrocketed. Inflation has never gone to 19.64. I predicted that it would get to 19, but I, I hate to say that my prediction came to pass. Unemployment still stands at 33%, which still gives us one of the worst misery index we have ever had in the history of this country. So when you advise someone like Wiki to now join APC, he has condemned the APC all as well. You won't say because you won't bite your nose to spite your face. You won't cut off your nose to spite your face. So I don't think that would be the right counsel I'll be giving to Wiki. Well, rather, if, I mean, Wiki's position, as painful as it is, whatever would have happened, I would rather look for how I can, you know, mend, mend fences with my party, especially now that I'm the beautiful bride. Now that everybody's looking at me, I mean, every Nigerian knows who Wiki is right now. And I think Wiki has a bright future if he wants to make an attempt again as a presidency. And, uh, uh, Chima, you know, they, they, these meetings uh, are, are never enough, uh, you know, in every election year until you see politicians make that very important visit to Nigeria's former president, Olusegun uh, Obasanjo. <coughs> Uh, help us here. How important uh, is the uh, former president in uh, Nigeria's politics today? I think um, we must study this phenomenon called Obasanjo. 
hurt him, love him, he is dead. And God seemed to have uh, also conspired with him, if I should use that word advisedly, because I've never had OBJ gone to any hospital. Maybe it used to be like uh, in those days that the queen never, they never showed the queen when, he had, when she has a flu. But OBJ has been too active and always has been. You need to shake that man at the Just do it quietly and walk away. He will do it, wing, 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 and you know you shook a man at his age. So I think uh, God has uh, helped that man. And uh, you can see he's a recurring decimal in the political history of this country since after the military. Let me just put it that way. He's always there. He has always been there, even if it is as number three man, but pulling the strings one way or the other. Now, it appeared that under Buhari, he did not get um, a good deal. He tried to initiate himself when he went to, immediately after the election of Buhari, he went to teach him how to be the petroleum minister. And of course, Buhari took the uh, the multivite and left the malaria tablet, which was uh, the main advice. But he took the one that suited him and, of course, uh, pushed uh, Obasanjo to the side. So that meeting that Obasanjo attended and the speculation that uh, he may have been uh, may have endorsed uh, P2B, even though he, he seemed to have denied it lately yesterday, but uh, if we take what has become one of the newest political lexicon in, uh, in the political lexicon of a body language, you could see that once article is involved, Obasanjo will prefer a Satan to, to, to take over from, uh, to, to uh, uh, prevent article from uh, becoming based on what he has uh, been saying at the public uh, uh, domain. So if uh, indeed he is uh, supporting P2B, then it was necessary for him to try to convince Wike to look at the way of P2B, even though Wike had uh, in his own uh, mandibular pregnation had lashed uh, uh, P2B. That time the primaries were going on and all that. Uh, so he, he may, maybe when he thought that P2B was going to contest on the PDP, so he jumped at him and was even in Anambra State telling them that P2B was uh, voting for him for the primaries was a wasted vote. However, in politics, interest remains permanent. And uh, if you ask me, as I put even in my own Facebook uh, wall, I advised uh, uh, Wike if uh, he needed a uh, free pro bono advice that rather than go to APC, or in fact, after all the modeling up of the PDP water, coming back to wait for it to settle, he should jump sheet to uh, ship to Labour Party and support P2B because it appears that uh, he will be moving with the tide. Read my lips it appears that he will be moving with the tides if he takes that decision. That's, that's my own position. What, what kind of alliance, before I bring in Ken, what kind of alliance, are you looking at the APC kind of alliance of 2015, where the APC remained the APC in Lagos State, but decided to uh, root for President Jonathan in the presidential election? I mean, APC alliance with another political party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there was a subtle, there was a, an unwritten, an unwritten support for President Goodluck Jonathan. At, you know, in the 2015 election, to the extent that, uh, I mean, 2011 election uh, that Lagos yes, uh, gave him, yeah, 2011, 2011 election, Lagos gave him the support. Is that the kind of alliance you hope to see with Yes and Wiki? and Peter Obi of the Labour Party, or you want to see may, an entire change like, of political? our party moving all together with his members into the Labour Party. Just like um, Ken said, he has uh, candidates whom he loved so much to have allowed them to pick the tickets 
under his watch in PDP when the going was good. Mm. It will be difficult now that uh, prospects have been foreclosed for change of uh, political parties and still remain what you were in the other in the other party as candidate. Mm. The only two possibilities will be alliance with P2B at the mm. level of presidential election. While he worked very hard for the PDP candidates he had uh, 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 helped at the state level. The other option, maybe if uh, it becomes extreme, is for him to move over to uh, labor completely. And uh, if uh, whatever happens to the other candidates, they are on their own. But I believe he will need to work out something because uh, especially he is no longer going to be governor. He needs to secure his place in history, in political history of the state, and at the same time uh, be relevant uh, at the national level, one let, way or the other. Let, let, let me bring in Ken. Ken, what do you think? Well, the, the, the suggestion she might have given is what you call the highest anti-party. <laughs> Actually working, <laughs> actually working for Labour. But, but, but Ken, I was going to ask, and I was ask Ken, Ken. remaining in PDP, but, but you know, but, but the meetings, <laughs> the alleged we meetings. We saw that happen. We saw that happen. No, it actually happened in, in Lagos. And PDP. Yes. Mm -hmm. We saw that happen, and Atiku and Co were the masterminds of that. So is is there's nothing wrong in giving him <laughs> some part of the pills. <laughs> that he had dispensed before. No, but I think at the end of the day, the MPDP metamorphosed into APC. They, they, they fused fully with the APC because what the MPDP did as at that time was that they quickly started the agitation so that by the time it got to the primaries for the party, APC, they, were, they, con they considered the seat to Amici, for example, which was the beginning of where he started having issues with some of the APC stalwarts who were in ACN, if you remember, <laughs> before they, they metamorphosed into APC as a party. Mm -hmm. And Kwakwansu was also actually allowed to take charge of the whole of uh, ACN in, in Kano and CPC. In Kano, yes. Yeah, yes. so those, were the, those, were, those are the mistakes that, 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 that the wicked team, or rather those are the pitfalls the wicked team are, 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 have, are going to have now because they don't have that time for everybody to switch into another party. But for the, example, I, I got dissatisfied with my party. Do you understand? Yes. You know how passionate I have been about PDP. And everybody knows I was even a spokesman. PDP Delta State. I was even a, no, nationally. You know I was a spokesman for the presidential campaign mm -hmm. council. You interviewed me a couple of times. Do you understand? But when I thought that I couldn't agree with some certain things, I, I decided to, to, to pull out of the party. Not everybody can just leave like that. It was difficult. It was a very difficult decision for me to make, if you ask me, in all sincerity. But... Wiki now is an institution because whether we like it or not, Wiki has been on the topic since he declared for the presidential. I was going to bring even before this. he even let declared for the let presidential me, let me quickly primaries. Bring in this. Let me quickly bring in this because listening to Chima, mm. or you asked, you said something about uh, anti-party yes. uh, activities. Mm. It looks as if that phrase is for the weak politician. Well, because, that's what I wanted because, to say. Because, because, we, because we haven't I seen, agree. Because what's happening now, the meetings, series of meetings... If, it was, one, if it was a House of Rep member that was doing that, he would have been suspended or even expelled from the party a long time ago. But if you want to look at it, also let us look at it from what I said. I said, uh, Ricky has this feeling of entitlement because he's, he's seen to have nurtured his party, he's seen to have spent most for the party, and so the party also is looking at the advantages and the disadvantages. If you look at the party right now, even the National Working Committee, even the National Executive Council, Wiki has a lot of people in there. Even in the Board of Trustees, Ghana, that is, that is his coordinator in the North Central, is a member of the Board of Trustees. You have the likes of Donald Duke, that has been a two-time governor. So I can go on and on. So maybe that support base is why they, now, they don't want to call it anti-party now. They, they are trying to say, look, we're still reasoning. But you see, the PDP would win this election if they can put their house in order. Just like what Chima was saying, that give them a dose of that pill. At this point in time, Nigerians are eager for a change. They want to change the change because it was anything but Jonathan in 2015. But with the present state of our economy, insecurity, where people are not sleeping with their two eyes closed in Abuja, 
with the, with corruption also. So not having not quick, not, quick, not quick, having bring a, this in a, a so quickly bring this in. Yes. In comes the OB Konkonso Alliance because some are saying, no, I think what some, are I think saying what that, some are saying that yes. OB also needs an alliance that he should have actually worked for an alliance. I think it was Konkonso that got hot most because I haven't seen anybody that is almost on self destruct like Konkonso at this point because nobody ever thought Shekara and Konkonso can ever come together. Nobody. I never thought. I'll see a, a political time in Nigeria where a Shakara and a Kokonsu comes together under the same umbrella. Now you give him the senatorial ticket, and if you give any of his people the ticket, and Kokonsu, I must give, uh, sorry, Shakara, I must give it to him. I've said, look, I have my senatorial ticket, but it's not enough for only me to be there. I have my supporters. Because of my supporters, I'll cede my senatorial seat. I'd rather come back to the people. So that's a big loss. And if you, to, yes, to the it's, a big, it's a big loss. Because if you look at the, when I was in presidential campaign council, I always wondered why uh, PDP will always lose elections in, uh, in Kano. In, in the presidential and win in the in the gubernatorial when Kokwansu was there. Then after Kokwansu was there, it was a, it was a huge loss. For, it, I, I think we got only 390,000 votes, and Buhari got one point, over 1.4 million votes. And in in 2015, Buhari got 1.9 million votes. That is what he got in Kano under Kokwansu. <coughs> and uh, Jonathan could not even make 25 percent, which is the minimum threshold that the constitution allows. So what what am I saying? Shikara was able to get more votes for Jonathan in, uh, 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 before 2015. He was able to get half a million, uh, 500,000 votes. Do you understand? Uh, than Kwa Kwan Su got for, for Jonathan, for, for PDP. So I think the political calculation for Atiku is good now, welcoming Shikara. At least there's a lifeline. Certainly, Kwa Kwan Su will still be seen to win Kanu. But is Kanu going to be enough for him to become the president of Nigeria? That's the question you ask yourself. He has his tentacles spread, but I don't see his tentacles spread towards the south, having a, a bishop in the house as a, as a vice presidential candidate. That is not enough force, like if you'd have had an Obi and, and, and a Kwakwansu ticket, but that has been, you know, and Obi rather is gaining a momentum, and we're not seeing that momentum with Kwakwansu. Well, we'll come Solomon, to can I yeah. just... Uh, yeah, go project. ahead. You know, this uh, Wike case is very interesting. The cricket said, rather than those who will not chew him, will not eat him, will do so, he will scatter his stomach by himself. <laughs> and you know how little cricket is. When the stomach is scattered, there will be no meat for anybody, even though the cricket may have died in the process. Are you reading me? Now, it gets to a point where somebody can even decide to commit a political harakiri, if only to make a point. And that stage we, we are now with this issue of wiki. That's why I said, because there is vengeance awaiting him if he decides to come back to PDP. Don't bother that everybody is begging him to come back to PDP. He was there when they despised him, they treated him badly. In spite of all the sacrifices he made, he was there. He never changed. Is it now that he has even shown some element of uh, dissidence that they will begin to romance him? They will do it to bring him back, if only to win this election, if it were to be that possible, then they will rubbish him big time. So the best thing for him is to behave like the proverbial cricket, deny PDP the meat from mm -hmm. Wike, so that PDP will not have meat. Because the insult, the affront, the effrontery, the rashness of character, the temerity is too much. How can a political party sideline its own constitution and just because of flimsy ag argument that cannot be sustained on any platter of scale, that power cannot shift because uh, uh, you, you need somebody to win the election? What is the guarantee? As we are even seeing that the, what somebody will say, shaky, shaky something. The, the PDP candidacy is shaking. It's only difficult to, it's very difficult to, to, to imagine that once he became a, a candidate, then he must win. It is not that uh, a simple arithmetic that you, uh, at base 10, you say two plus two is uh, four. It doesn't happen like that. The PDP uh, board of trustee chairman remains in the north. The chairmanship of the party remains in the north, and somebody is playing in transigence that he's not going to give it up. What type of behavior is that? It is an effrontery that is very insulting and provocate, uh, very provocative. 
So Wicke should stand his ground and take a decision too fast. And the only way he can do it now is to move to Obi. That's where he has some respite and some respect. That's my own thinking. You know, you, you I, know think, I think Chim Chim yeah. Chima is obedient. <laughs> no, no, no. That's, uh, that, uh, uh, I'll let him, I'll let him uh, answer to that. Uh, you heard what he just said. He said, uh, it looks like you're, you're rooting for Peter Obi. Are you? It's natural. I, I, I am not obedient in the sense of uh, mm. the young ones. But I would prefer that Obi should be given that opportunity. Because on the level of intellectual discourse, I find him more convincing that even from the antecedents that have, they have bounded, it appears that he has the character that we, we are looking for now. And even if there was going to be one other candidate that could have been a very good person, it appears some odds are very much against them. Let me tell you, Suleiman, even at my age, when I pretend that I'm still the same team energy that uh, I used to know about 20 years ago, if I want to lift certain things, I have waste pain. So there are certain things you don't do to work against nature. It cannot work possibly like that. So the, the job is very demanding. So while I, 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 I will not play God by saying that age is necessarily uh, a determinant for when somebody will go or when somebody will not go, it appears that it is better to, uh, rather than go for Tokumbore, Tokumbore <laughs> may be the, the, the fairly used car of Nigeria. Even to the one imported is better than the one that they have used in Nigeria because of our terrain. But if you have money, go for the brand new. I'm, no, I'm, happy, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I want you. Call, I want you coming, Ken. <laughs> Ken. I'm happy you just defined, you know, Tukumbo, because we have a lot of Africans watching across the continent. So sometimes we need to break it down so that so they, they can understand. understand. <laughs> so if you're not yes, a Nigerian, so Chima Nigeria has given you that definition. <laughs> so Ken, you were going to no, say. No, but, but actually, uh, I actually teased Chima when I talked about obedience. But the truth about it is that the, the traction that the that Peter B has had is because PDP also hurts themselves. Uh, we, we all rooted for most of the people, most of the uh, voice various members of the party when I was in the PDP, rooted seriously for the presidency to come to the South. And we thought it was only right for the presidency to come to the South. Buhari is not the uh, president of only the APC. He's the president of the APC, the PDP, the SDP, the ADC, and so many other political parties. So a situation whereby people were making the analysis that, oh, in PDP, the North has only ruled for two years, which was for Yaradua, and the South between Jonathan and and, uh, and Obasanjo mm -hmm. was 14 years of the 16 years of PDP. It didn't make any sense to me. It didn't resonate with me. I actually thought they were going to settle for a southern candidate, which would have been very good. Because if, if you turn back the hand of time, imagine if it would be as a candidate of the PDP, if he was the mm -hmm. situation right now, with the traction he's actually getting, added to the structures that PDP have in the 774 local government. That would make it a lot easier for the PDP. You think it would have been a better candidate? But they say the Northerners won't vote for Peter, for, for an Easterner, not even Peter B now. But I think that is even changing with the support base we're seeing from uh, core Northerners, not even the Igbos that are living in the North. It would have been possible. He would have been a better candidate. But all that is in the past now because the PDP has settled for Atiku Abubakar and he won in the primaries. So at this material point in time, it seems they didn't go down south. It, was, it is only natural for Ayu to give way, just like what Shima has said. No sensible party will have its chairmanship of its uh, party in the north, the chairmanship of the board of trustees in the north, and the presidential candidate in the north. A situation whereby they're saying they want to wait till, until after the elections, in my perspective, is a no no. Now, let's look for at peace, some names. For peace and for the party to move forward, Let, if I'm to offer an advice as a public affairs analyst, I would advise. Th 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 just the just save to, that yes. because I'll need that advice now. Because in that same meeting, yes. the PDP meeting, uh, there was Shei Makinde, that's the governor of, of Oyo State. State yes. uh, there was Samuel Oton, you know, yes. the governor of Benue State. There was okay and of course, there was okay Piazu. And there was Abio also State. Fintiri. So are we looking at some form of zonal strength in this alliance? You no, know, I think Fintiri only came with his boss, his immediate boss, the presidential candidate. He was there. Well, he was there. <laughs> no, but I think what, it's not even zonal alliance as it is now. They should be able to give up the issue of chairman. The chairman should be able to sacrifice that position at this time for peace to reign. No matter how well he's doing at this point in time, if he decides to say, look, I, I, I'm not going to wait until after the elections. is February 25th. Your party's being torn, torn apart. And you're one of those who decided to form a committee. Nobody 
said you should form a committee. In my own understanding, I'm not in the echelons of the party or, in, in, uh, or have my insider view, but you decided to form a committee to choose a running mate, mm -hmm. even when you were not supposed to have done that. You should have allowed the candidate to choose his running mate. And that is actually the, board, the, 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 the main disagreement. You should also ask yourself, have I taken the right decision? Have I had this party well? You've been accused of being partisan. And the most important aspect is that you are from the north. As the, as the candidate. So it's, it doesn't take anything from him to say, look, I'll resign. But you know, what, and what, let the what party you, move what, forward. What do you think? After all, if they win the election, the candidate knows that he must, he must compensate. But, so what do you think? Because Chima, Chima Naja said, well, it's best for years and weekend not to take the band back into, no, I think, in, into the folds of the PDP. I think if you look at because he, he just, has a whole lot more to lose with his gubernatorial candidates, which is the biggest prize for him. He's, he's, he's done very well in, in River State. He will need a continuum. Everybody calls him Mr. Project. I don't even think his greatest enemy would, would criticize the infrastructural work that has been set to be done by Governor Wiki. So he has the biggest prize. The biggest prize for any local election is the governorship election. And the governor is a member of PDP. There is no way you can now say you're going to work for him. How would you, from another party? Are you going to work from your House of Assembly members from another party? You want to continue your legacy, you have your House of Rep members, you have your senators. I think the best bet for him is to go with that negotiation. If, that, if he actually agreed to change the chairman, I think Wiki should be able to find a way to fuse. And if they allow his camp to produce the chairman, that should have been that they ceded something to them. A bit of ethics here, uh, yes. uh, Dr. Naji, and it has to do with uh, uh, promises made by politicians. Uh, a while ago, you just said, well, uh, going by what we've seen, uh, yes, or Wiki do, uh, he just. Uh, might be making the wrong move if he decides to go back into the PDP. And we've also seen the APC candidate come out then, leading up to the primaries of his party, scream out and said, look, it's my turn. I was promised. How dare you go behind me and turn the wheels against me? So now it comes to promises uh, and terms of agreement that politicians make uh, among themselves and also between the electorates and themselves. So the religious groups' alliances are expected to be in full swing soon. So what do you expect, especially with uh, uh, the APC's uh, ticket, which uh, some have said uh, the same, same, the Muslim Muslim ticket, uh, can't help the APC in its journey uh, to Asur Rock? Well, you see, the argument has always been made that uh, religion should be left out. And, and yet most of the people who make this argument are those who actually place religion on the front burner. Ordinarily, I will just bloody not care about you, your religion, your ethnicity, because I'm interested in your humanity. If I meet you, I don't have to ask you whether you are a, 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 a Christian or a Muslim or a pagan to buy what you you have that has utility to me in marketing you talk about utility no matter the price you walk away if the price is too high if you cannot afford it or you may have the money to afford it but you don't think it is justifiable but utility defines it so if if i think that you are a candidate that can deliver on good governance I will bloody not care about whether you are a Christian or a Muslim or a pagan. But when it is thrown in your face that, well, you can do nothing about it, but we have done it. So we can now embark on a process of trying to pacify. And then you may have, you see, that is the same thing. The ant is very small, an animal, but it chooses a small location of the buttock to deliver something. And when it does, the entire body realizes that there was, there was a, an intervention in the peace process of the body. The equilibrium is, uh, is upset, as small as it is, even if you can use the same book to ruffle it and it dies. Okay? But it has, made a, it has sent a message. So the issue again, as if that was not enough, the APC itself did not deliver. And it is not for the fault of the incoming I mean, of the current candidate, is a very difficult party to sell now, no matter how anybody pretends. Except foul. The foul has always been deceived by the cock, by giving it a measure of the rapper that it will always buy whenever it wants to have its way. 
And it never bought that rap up to, up to these days at my age. I've never seen that. If you get my drift, Sulema. Mm -hmm. So the point is, while it might be easy to say that the incoming, uh, the candidate of APC has superior knowledge of what he needs to do to change things. What about yesterday? Does anybody blot it out? Yesterday is still too fresh. And even today, we are still in the pain. And that pain is, the, the, the end of that pain is not foreseeable. Because even anybody who takes the mantle of leadership of this country will still be saddled with the problems, a lot of disequilibrium caused in our lives, not just the economy, in our lives. There's no more social interaction among human beings. You can no longer travel. Some people have evacuated their, their savings on account of payment of uh, ransoms. And there's no business to recover. And so on and so there are a lot of things to remind people that yesterday and today has not been the same. It's not easy. So the narrative needs to change. The narrative needs to change. And it is everybody's political right, constitutional right, to choose whoever he or she prefers. It should not be muzzled. It should not. Okay, let me bring in Ken here, and uh, it's our closing one from Ken, uh, because uh, listening to uh, Naji, that's a, a closing one for Nigerians on how to make their choices in the next election. So, Ken, uh, what do you think uh, Nigerians should be looking out for? Uh, and I just painted a big picture, and the picture is how to make Nigeria better, irrespective of your religion, your party, and, in fact, your ideology. Oh, sorry, I don't you care. Know, yes. Basically, uh, nobody would have even minded a Muslim Muslim ticket if the country was working. But we've never been divided al along religious and ethnic lines like we're divided right now. Mm. And um, any party that is not sensitive to that would hit the wrong button. And that's exactly why the APC is being condemned for the Muslim Muslim ticket, especially by the Christian community in the north. And also the fact that, you know, you have predominantly Christians in the South. And so the truth about it is Nigeria is at the crossroad. We are at a point where bread is most likely going to get to 1,500 naira. We're at a point bread. where, yes, it's going to, that's the, what the, it's the same about. bread. Normal bread, yes. It's getting to 1,000 naira, so it's most likely going to get to, they've said it, they, they've warned about it, diesel is 800 naira. If they told you that you buy business class tickets for 200,000 to Abuja. You won't believe it, but that's what it's getting to. I just came back from Delta. My ticket was almost 300,000 uh, in my home state, business class ticket. The economy is 100,000, 150,000 to Abuja. So we must face realities. It's, not, it's no joke anymore. Uh, you, you, it cost you 800,000 to buy 1,000 liters of diesel. So Nigeria is at a crossroad. And, and the reality, and so we, and, and, the reality and, 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 is that we need a president that can get us out of this doldrum. And, and, and again, the, the other reality is that can you, you should do the economy now going forward. <laughs> uh, there's, there's usually, I don't see the difference. Do you yes. see the difference in, in the local flights? Is there really any difference between there's the no, classes? There's no difference. That's exactly what I'm going to start doing now. As if you know, as if you, so, go, you uh, can read uh, my Ch mind. Chima, I, yes. I just gave him. I just gave him a pro bono. As if you can read my mind. A pro bono No, but it, not even only that. Now, you, for you to travel, you must know why you're traveling. There, there's no difference you between both. You must know why you're uh, traveling. The only difference is the curtain. <laughs> the curtain. It's a nice place for us so, to say many thanks for being such nice company, Chima and Naji. <laughs> And Ken Opol, I do hope that we'll find time to do this again. Nigeria and every part of the continent must be a better one for everyone to yes, live in. Yes, Ken, we have to meet again. So yes, Chima, it was so great to uh, see you. After uh, over uh, 10 years, uh, uh, so, uh, 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 <laughs> I was really thank you for bringing me with Chima again. Thank, I always thank enjoy the program. Uh, uh, and thanks to our producers. Thank well, you. many thanks, I'm Suleiman. <laughs> see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs>